In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be probably the best ability that you can get on a quarterback in Madden 21. We're going to go into X factors here. And there's a, quarterbacks get a lot of good abilities this year, but there's two specific ones that I want to talk about. And I, I've talked about this on my live streams, but I haven't talked about it in person yet. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name's Cody, and I make Madden videos that are designed to help you improve in Madden 21. I do four videos a day here on YouTube. I also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. If you want to see me play live, I also answer questions live on stream. So if you have Madden questions, you can text those to me. Uh, my cell phone is 812-216-3644. It's in the top left corner of every video that I do. But you could also you can either text me or just come by the stream and ask um, there. All right, so here's the ability. So Tom Brady gets this, um, and it is set feet lead. It says increase throwing power when leading bullet passes with set feet. Aaron Rodgers also get this, but Aaron Rodgers kind of gets it twofold, and this is why I say Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the Madden 21 uh, in regs. So he gets pass lead elite, increased throw power when leading bullet passes, but he also has gunslinger, faster throwing animations, and velocity on bullet passes. So what this means is Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to put the ball in windows that most quarterbacks just simply cannot do that. Uh, and so what we're going to do to show you this, and I want to show you this ability, we're going to go into practice mode, and we're going to start with Aaron Rodgers. And then we'll um, we'll also talk about one of the better quarterbacks in Madden 21, also, which is uh, Patrick uh, Mahomes. You could you could use Mahomes. You could also use Russell Wilson. We'll show you with Russell Wilson. So, but again, personally, I really believe that Green Bay is the best team in regs, and primarily, even though the receivers aren't necessarily super fast, um, the Chiefs have better receivers. Like, there's no questions about that. But because Aaron Rodgers has this ability that he can not only throw the ball really fast, get those quick throwing animations, but he can also put them in places, put the ball in windows that you just simply can't do um, if, you're, if you're not using this ability. So this ability is my favorite ability in the game. One thing you do need to understand, or two things you need to understand about the ability. First and foremost is it does not work. Um, it does not work against certain types of things that you're going to face. So for example, um, if you are, let's say, let's just say you are throwing, um, you're, you're throwing a post route. If you try to high point it, you're not going to be able to, you're not going to, it's not going to trigger the ability. If you try to low ball it, um, it also, I think low balls actually are fine, but you don't, again, it's, it's, it's not necessarily going to activate it. So what I like to do and this is precision passing only. Uh, let me see if I can find my controller select. So we're going to start with Russell Wilson. And we're just going to throw. Um, we're literally not going to do anything too crazy. We're just going to throw some basic routes. So I'm in the Seattle Playbook. And one of the best plays from Seattle Playbook, if you go into bunch, you can get this uh, Z spot and go. So we're just going to throw a corner route. Okay, very simple. Uh, we're just going to throw this corner route here. And uh, i got to run a play here real quick so that I can become the Seahawks. But to me, this is the best ability in Madden um, as far as as far as far from a quarterback perspective. This ability allows you to play different. I mean, you literally will, you know, there's, there's certain abilities that just make you play different. So watch this route to Tyler Lockett. You're going to see that Russell Wilson is going to throw it, but it takes a while to get there. Now, we are able to complete that against man-to-man -man coverage primarily because of Tyler Lockett's route running. But what you'll see is over the course of time, if they're in like a cover two, you see the safety can get out there. See that right there? That is exhibit A. So this is no set feet ability. This is where, you know, if you if you just come out and throw it, these deep these deep corner routes aren't going to be open. They're just not. You can't get the ball there. You can't get it, you can't throw the ball in the window. Literally what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to try to low ball it. And if you low ball it, Jair Alexander is going to be underneath it. So Really, this creates a dilemma because we know how good corner routes, how effective they are against man-to-man, -man, but it's like they're not really as effective against zone coverage. So what do you do? And this is not just a specific route. In fact, it's every single route that you're going to throw. What you're going to find here is slant routes. While they still beat man-to-man, -man, the ball comes out a lot slower. One thing you need to be aware of, though, real quick, is when you're using set feet lead, when you're using pass lead elite, either one of those abilities, basically the same thing, except pass lead elite triggers on everything, set feet only when your feet are set. But And, and that's why, personally, I think pass lead elite's a little bit better. Um, that's the one I would recommend. But again, 
you have to do um, what you have to do. So uh, as far as as far as getting your your players set up, but here's what I want to get at. So the ball, um, when if I was to be Aaron Rodgers, right? What you're gonna find is, and let me flip the sides again. What you're gonna find is by being Aaron Rodgers, um, one of the things that you need to be aware of is the fact that. Aaron Rodgers, that ability, the ball is going to come out at a lower trajectory, okay? That's the one quasi-negative. Um, you can turn it into a positive, though, but the ball will come out at a lower trajectory. What that basically means is from time to time, okay, from time to time, your quarterback will throw the ball under, um, under not under throw it, but against like zone coverages, if you're trying to hit seam routes, it's not always the best idea to use an Aaron Rodgers. What you'll see here with this ability, see how fast the ball comes out and see how much more you can pass lead these routes against man-to-man -man coverage. You can pass lead this against anything, whether it's zone, whether it's man, it does not matter. You'll see here, I can get the ball out right there. And again, this is, you. if you're watching Aaron Rodgers' footwork, watch his X Factor. Because when the X Factor lights up, that's when it tells you that it's their ability is being activated. As you see right there, both abilities are activated. And I'm going to be able to hit this corner route much, much faster and much, much more open. Right? So if they run cover three, here you see that, see how you get the ball out there? Now, again, the corner did break on that, and I understand that. But what I want you to hopefully catch while you're watching this is how 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 drastic of a difference it is because he's able to get the ball where only his receiver can get it. You can literally throw receivers open with this ability. That's why I truly believe this is the best ability for quarterbacks in Madden 21. So I was watching some YouTube today. I know some other people have been talking about this ability, and I wanted to go ahead and just give my take on it because – a lot of people, there's mixed emotions, right? You're gonna. Some people are gonna say they hate it. Some people are gonna say they love it. In my personal opinion, I've used quarterbacks with this ability, without this ability. I have never noticed a bigger gap in in the way quarterbacks play. Literally, not only do you throw the ball faster, you throw the ball. You throw your receivers open. Like it's not even. I mean, your just ability to throw receivers open on. Just take corner routes alone. If you watch, watch Devontae Adams. I will complete this at a very high clip. I will literally complete corner routes. It doesn't matter the formation or what coverage they run because I can literally pass lead the wide receiver wide open. That was cover to sink. Like, that's what I'm talking about, guys. This ability is so good. Um, I would recommend using Dan Marino. Uh, you'll see right here. See the pass lead? As long as you don't low ball or high ball the ball, Right, which I do personally have a tendency to want to lowball this year, but because I'm using Aaron Rodgers, I don't have to do that. I don't have to take advantage of those tactics. He's already going to do it because that's his ability. Right, that's his ability. Look how now again the cover two digged me there, but look at, at the high amount of completions that I'm going to be able to get just by throwing the receiver open. Literally just by throwing the receiver open, he is getting separation, and I do understand that. But what I want you guys to key in on is the moments where he doesn't look like he's open. Like right there, the cornerback the cornerback has the play. Like the play is literally over. Cornerback has the play. He's done everything that he needs to do, and, and we're still able to complete the ball. Looks like he has outside leverage. Looks like he's going to come down on the ball. And I'm telling you right now, if that is Kyler Murray in this game, that's an, that is an incompletion or a pick. As you see right there, there's cover two again, but this time I throw the ball over the zone. Literally, you can pass lead these corner routes wide open this year. It's one of the things I feel like people aren't talking about. Pass lead elite. I know a couple people have talked about this ability, but just try this out. I'm telling you, this is really, really good. Uh, it's really, really good. I find defenders don't even react to it half the time. Like, pass lead elite, for my money, if you want to, if you really want to get better at the offensive side, if you want to have a good passer, I'm, this is why I personally believe the Packers are the best team in head-to-head -head because of this specific ability. Look at the corner. Completely, like, the compu the, com the corner can't respond. And you think, maybe, well, he's just a computer. What if they click on? If they click on, it becomes worse. I'm just telling you, if they click onto the corner and try to make the play themselves, this will make an even drastic, more drastic of a difference than it already does. But you're seeing, this is cover three, deep thirds, deep quarters, deep flat routes. I'm completing these uh, at a very high clip. You can also do it with post routes. Let me show you here, PAFL slide from split slot. Look at how much more of a, look at how much more of a pass lead he gets than other quarterbacks. So 
Anyways, I've, I talked about this video before, or I talked about this ability before Madden 21 even came out. I used it last year. Um, it works really good this year. I just want to encourage you. You know, I know some people have talked about this, and I didn't come. I don't say I'm not trying to claim that I came up with this ability or any of that stuff. All I'm trying to say is, if you have not used this, please, please, please do yourself a favor and try it out. Again, it's going to take a very specific coverage, very specific zone to be able to stop some of the power routes in this game. But what you're going to find is you can pass the receivers open even when they look covered with this ability. So get into practice mode, mess around with this a little bit, play some practice games. Watch this ability do work for you. As you saw it do right there against cover two. Receiver looked covered. I was able to get the ball over the top of the corner. And use. I have seen this be very, very consistent, completely glitching out corners on corner routes. You can also use it on post routes. But I just wanted to do a video on this because someone asked me a question about what abilities I use and just wanted to talk about this ability. It's very, very effective. Try it out. This is why I have been saying all season long, Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in head-to-head. He can do things that, that quarterbacks just cannot do. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't joined Discord yet, what are you waiting on? Discord is a great place to be able to grow, be able to get better. Um, Discord is a communication platform where everyone from my YouTube channel is invited to come together in this room, and we talk Madden 24-7. So uh, I would just encourage you, if you haven't jumped in that Discord yet, go ahead and do that. You're going to be able to find lab partners. You're going to be able to get questions answered. It's just a great place to continue to get better. That's what this channel is all about, helping you get better, helping me get better at this game that we love to play, Madden 21. Thanks for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. And we have a couple more videos coming for you on YouTube today, so be sure to check back on the channel. There's also some videos that are going to pop up on your screen, and we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. I'd love to see you. Love to talk with you more about Madden. See ya.